Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you should definitely subscribe because your girl's a whole vibe. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got the cherry slash burgundy color on this unit. This is a 5x5 20 inch body wave closure wig. Um, this is the bleaching developer that I'm going to use today. I don't normally use this developer, but I had to make it work. This is all I had. And we about to get into this bleach bath, okay? So this is the uh, bucket that I usually use when I do my bleach baths. And I'm just adding about five scoops of bleach. You really don't need a lot of bleach at all, but I don't, I don't add a specific number. Every time I do a bleach bath, I just add whatever I feel like adding and hope for the best, honestly. But you really don't need a lot, y'all. Just use your uh, eyes to gauge how much you're putting in there. I think I put like five scoops in there, so that should be good. Once I do that, I went ahead and added the developer. And you want to make sure it's just like a watery consistency. So it doesn't need to be thick like your bleach or not. It's a watery consistency. Um, once I did that, I boiled some water and I added that hot water into the bucket. I find that the hair definitely turns when you use boiling water. But you don't have to. You can use hot water from your faucet. In my opinion, it always turns with no issues when you use boiling water. So that's what I was using. So now you see me pouring the water in here. You want to make sure you mix everything up really good so, you know, all of the wig can bleach evenly. But once you put the wig in, you're going to see me do it in a second. You're also going to want to just brush the um, bleach through the wig a couple of times before you let it sit. So while you guys watch me do that, let me put you on before anybody asks. So this is one of my wigs that I sell. I sell custom wigs. Shop with me. I bleach your knots, pluck your hairline, style your wig, and I offer payment plans. Who you know? Do all of that. <laughs> so yeah check me out the link is always down below but yeah this was a custom order for one of my customers but i did add this wig to my site permanently if anyone is interested in purchasing it so once i feel like the hair is saturated enough i go ahead and put foil over the bucket just so the process can move along much faster you just want to check it periodically i do not leave my bleach baths in for a specific amount of time every time I leave it in for like 15 minutes and then I check periodically if it's not light enough for me, I leave it in longer. So there's no specific time frame, honestly. Just keep checking it. Make sure you keep checking it. Okay, so I cover that up. And once I felt like it was ready, I went ahead and did a watercolor for the cherry red part of the unit. Uh, and I used crimson. Now, I forgot to show y'all that part. But let me just say, it did not come out as light as I wanted it to. You guys are going to see how I fixed that in the end. So, I'm about to show you guys the color it came out to be. I didn't like that. I wanted it much lighter. That looks like the burgundy that the rest of the wig was going to be. And I didn't want that. So, once again, off camera, I didn't <laughs> show you guys. I watercolored the other side with burgundy envy by a door. So the rest of that is Burgundy Envy. And right now, I'm about to blow dry this little section because this is going to be that cherry red color. So I'm blow drying it so I can add some bleach to it because the bleach is just going to lighten that color up. And that's what we need. Quick, simple fix. Okay, so the color was too dark for me. I went ahead and added bleach over it. Would you take me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well, baby, I've been around. Let me just say this, I apologize in advance for not wearing gloves. I feel like y'all are definitely going to get on me. I ran out of gloves and the wig had to get done, okay? I needed to ship it out today. So, don't, don't, don't get on me for this. Okay, y'all, I didn't have gloves. I made sure to wash my hands directly after, so, yeah. <laughs> So 
So after all of that, I went and got some foil, put that foil on there so it could process a little bit faster. Anybody got time to be waiting all day? Like I said, I had to ship this out the same day and I was, it was a time crunch. Okay. So that's how it turned out. I loved it. It was time to wash it out. And I was just basically showing you guys that I went back and, um, did a, did watercolor for the rest of the wig because it was a little bit too light for me. I wanted that burgundy to be much darker. So I went ahead and did that. Um, Everything was watercolor, hot water, the Adora hair dye, that's it. Dip it and then wash everything out. I did let the wig sit in conditioner for about an hour to two hours since it was in a bleach bath. I, I like to do that to bring moisture back to the hair. So then it was time to style. You guys saw me blow drying. Now I'm about to curl it. and we're pretty much done i'm just hot combing the front listen if you do not own a hot comb you need to especially if you wear wigs because that's like the finishing touch so you don't have that like wiggy look it doesn't look like a hump on the top of your head so this is the finishing touch that's pretty much it y'all like i said this wig is on my site if you're interested in purchasing it but she went to a customer today and the customer loved it she loved this i cannot wait for her to send pictures thank you guys for watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one you're the